we're live. Great. Well, so one way to co combat the uh, the interest rate objection is a buy down. And so to help better answer this question, none other than Wendy Russell will be able to uh, kind of take us down the rabbit hole and explain <laughs> the details of how how it benefits both buyer and seller. And obviously, thanks again, Wendy, for joining us to help kind of explain the mechanics of this. So with that, I will let you kind of dive in and, and help us with this process. Sure. It seems to be the topic of all people's conversation these days, right? Interest rates mm -hmm. and how we can help yeah. that uh, buyer and seller combat what's going on in our interest rate environment. The good news is, is people think it's a temporary thing. So we just need to find that bridge gap between the two to, to satisfy both buyers and sellers. So right. um, one of the big plays of the day in terms of helping people with these uh, rates and getting their payment down low is doing something called a temporary buy down where, you know, we take the interest rate that's marketed today and temporarily buy that down the first two years. Um, that helps the buyer um, obviously keeping their payments down low and depend, uh, depending on the sales price, that can be pretty significant. Um, 500 to a thousand dollars a month difference lower in the first year. And then it just goes up 1% year two. And then the final rate, uh, is year three through 30. So it gives that buyer that comfort level of the lower payment that they were seeing back when rates were low. Right. Right, even summertime, because what what would be approximately what would be the start rate that they'd be looking at with a buy down sequence? So that would all depend on credit score and such. But just a generic pull today on twenty percent down, you're probably looking at a start rate of five and a half, okay. year one, six and a half, year two, and seven and a half, three through thirty. Um, gotcha. And so gotcha. again, that that I did just a, a brief analysis of a sales price example before we jumped on the call today of a nine hundred thousand dollars sales price, twenty percent gotcha. down. That was a thousand dollars a month savings wow. in the That's first year. Every month, a thousand dollars lower, and then year two it would be a little um, a little less of a savings, but still quite significant to combat that pressure of those higher interest rates for the buyer it, it allows them to feel more comfortable and then right. again you know there's no prepayment penalty so the buyer uh at any time can refinance uh to a okay. fixed rate through the 30-year the term okay which is good because especially if there's this because there is kind of the the general thought that sometime next year uh hard to know exactly when but sometime mm -hmm. next year that the that the Fed's going to be forced to have to pull rates back a bit because they 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 may have overcorrected at some point, which totally understand. Um, so that that can work well. And then the other side of it, <clears throat> so it, it it drops the payment to the buyer by a thousand dollars a month, which probably is well over a hundred thousand in terms of a mortgage number, yeah. right? Which is yeah, huge. Yeah, well over a hundred thousand. It's huge. Okay. Yeah. So in terms of what they can, what they're their uh, buying power obviously is dramatically increased. So that's a benefit to them. Mm -hmm. And the seller doesn't have, obviously from the standpoint of, of uh, having adjust their price or not having to adjust it uh, over a hundred thousand. But mm -hmm. what, what is the cost to them on, let's say this example of a $900,000 property buyer putting 20% down, obviously the payments are a thousand dollars less for the buyer. What does it, what does that translate in terms of a cost to seller? So based on that example, I gave you the 900,000 with 20% down, the cost to temporarily buy that interest rate down is approximately 17,000. So, oh, okay. which relatively speaking, the reduction to sales price would have to be huge to yield yes. that kind of savings in the mortgage payment. Um, so technically speaking, it's it's actually a, a better situation to explore maybe uh, the seller as an option rather than taking a reduction in his sales price, just giving right. this credit uh, to the buyer so that they can have that payment relief. Right, right. Well, and then all of a sudden you've got now a buyer that's willing to to step in as opposed to not step in and decide to just sit on the sidelines, right? Yeah, for sure. Everybody wants options. And you know that's what's great about your business and my business is we evolve to uh to help 
people achieve their homeownership goals, you know, and, and make them feel comfortable with the payment. It's one thing for me to qualify and you to sell them a house. It's another thing for them to feel comfortable making the payment. Great. Hey, well, there you have it. It's a great way for obviously buyer and seller to mutually benefit in a 2-1 buy down. And thanks again, Wendy. And if obviously if somebody needs to reach out to you, what's the best way to reach you? Sure. They can reach me at my direct line, which is 805-223-1411. Um, as you know, on my cell phone 24-7. So anybody can call me anytime. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Be careful awesome. what I wish for. But yeah, I'd right? love, love to, to educate your clients and let them know what the best choice is for them. Awesome. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thanks, Harold.